Hey everybody, it's Travis Zenobia Sense. Uh, just wanted to say sorry for my uh, recent departure where I've been MIA for a bit. Um, I had a, uh, a surgery on my hand. Um, in addition, uh, I uh, the the old Boston Terrier that y'all used to see showing up in my videos unfortunately uh, passed away. Uh, in the last month or so, so again, it's just been a lot going on. Uh, but um, I'm back to uh, do my Dior video. It's uh, the one that a lot of people have been uh, looking forward to. Uh, my Dior collection, I have uh, 14 bottles. So um, without further ado, here we go. All right, uh, we're actually going to do the uh, like the private line first um, I have three bottles from that from that line um, uh, the first one is uh, one of their new maybe the newest release but it's one of their newest releases um, uh, Five Delicios or however you want to pronounce that it's a, a wonderful Tonka chocolate type fragrance um, I really like this myself. My wife actually was the one that was wearing it more than I was, but um, she since has said that it reminds her, no, just hear me out here, uh, it reminds her of the scent of a brand new baby doll, and since she has said that, and I've, and I've actually <laughs> smelled it, I kind of know what she's saying. So I have not been wearing it that much recently because now I kind of have that thought in my head. But again, that's um, Fieve Delicios um, from Christian Dior. Uh, the next two I have are the smaller bottles of, of this line. And um, the first one is this one here, Bois d'Argent. It is a, uh, I iris... Um, I think I think it was um, Dan Fors that said it, it. It it's almost like you're smelling a cloud. That's such a really awesome uh, description of this fragrance, and it's 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 pretty spot on. It's it's a lot of myrrh. You get you get like myrrh resins, uh, iris. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It definitely doesn't smell like like pretty much well anything else. Um, that that I've gotten my nose on. I know there's one from um from uh, Van Cleef and Arpels like private line. I think that's supposed to smell similar to it, but I've never actually smelled that one. But that's Bois d'Argent. And the last one that I have from that line is this discontinued beauty here, Mitza. It's actually my favorite from the line. Uh, it's a beautiful cinnamon amber with with a floral. Like maybe maybe a bit of a rose note. It is just a wonderful, beautiful amber fragrance. Uh, why they discontinued this beauty, who knows? Maybe something that they put in it they couldn't they couldn't you know obtain anymore. But I remember hearing rumblings that they may have been bringing this back. Hopefully, it hadn't been reformulated. If they do do that, but uh, Mitza is just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, from this private, it's not really private blend, I can't think what the hell they call it, but it's late. Um, okay, so in addition to those three, the other two lines that I have fragrances from would be the Fahrenheit line and the Dior Ohm line. Um, I do have um, samples and uh, decants of like, um, what is it? Um, Dior's, um, well, I, I have some samples, like I have like little, like a couple of the little bottles, the little mini bottles of these that came with it, and, and I got samples um, of, of some of the other ones, like uh, Oud Espahan and, and uh, what is it, a Ombre Nui, I have like the little teeny mini bottles of those, but I'm not going to show those because they're not like the full, you know, bigger bottles here, they weren't purchased, they were just kind of thrown in from buying these two um, direct from Dior but I, I also have um, like decants and and things of like the uh, 
the Eau Sauvage line, like Eau Sauvage Parfum with all the myrrh. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's, it's probably one of the uh, first purchases that I'm going to make from this house um, come the new year because I'd really like to use it this winter. But with Christmas going on right now, I, uh, maybe I'll even get it as a Christmas gift. Who knows? Um, but anyway, I got the Fahrenheit line and the Dior Ohm line. So we're going to do um, <clears throat> Dior Ohm first. And I have six from that line. The first one is the original silver stem formulation of Dior Ohm. Um, you know, iris, uh, cocoa. It's just a great fragrance. I'm sure most people have had their, their noses uh, on it by now. But that's uh, Dior Ohm. Let me move these back a little bit. Uh, it's going to be, you know, Dior Ohm. Uh, for the first one. Uh, the next one that I have um, is the the original silver collar let me pop that off formulation of Dior Ohm Intense Let's see if you can see that Dior Ohm Intense uh, this is a 2010 batch this is also a 2010 batch but um, this is this is a beautiful fragrance. Uh, very strong cocoa and iris uh, note with this. Very makeup baggy, um, but 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 sweet and luxurious. It's got a very very rich dense scent to this one. It's a beautiful fragrance. That's Dior Homme Intense, the original vintage formulation. Um, next from this line, <clears throat> we have. Uh, the original version of Dior Ohm Sport. This is the grapefruit, ginger, and uh, woodsy base fragrance. <sighs> why they why they changed it up and went with the other one, I'll never know. I know some people really like it, but I love this fragrance. I know uh, uh, one of my one of my really really good uh, one of my favorite reviewers, Brad, uh, recently got a bottle of this too just because you know he loves it it's such a good fragrance and it really stinks that they got rid of this formulation if you cannot get the dior the original dior ohm sport uh formulation the one with the little red nozzle and the red ring and the clear top um your your next bet best bet to get getting something that's similar in vibe to that is going to be this one, which is also from that line. This is the newest version of Dior Homme Cologne. I love this bottle. It has these white sides, and it the the juice almost looks milky, like uh, <clears throat> like it's you know milky, like lemonade almost. Uh, you have a um, a beautiful neroli and citrusy smell, and it's and it's similar. Not the same, but it's similar to this fragrance. I almost wonder if they got rid of the new version of um, Dior Homme uh, Dior Homme Sport because they were making way for this one. I mean, it's possible they may have. I I don't know. I'm just gonna put it here. That's it's tall. We'll put it in the back. Um, so, but yeah. So you have. That beautiful fragrance there. Um, Dior Homme Intense, Dior Homme, Dior Homme Sport. These are all vintage. Then you have the new version of Dior Homme Cologne. The original version of Dior Homme Cologne, I actually used to have a little sample of it, and I think it also went by a name of Voyage. It just smelled like a watered-down version of this. So I'm, I understand why they replaced it with this. This is a much better fragrance, but great for the summer. Um... Next from the line is this one. Some people hate on this, but this is Dior Homme O. This is a great, I know Jer says it all the time, but this is a great dumb reach. I love that, that phrase. Um, in the spring, I grab this juice and wear it a lot. I mean, you can, you can see the level on it. I've only had this for, I've had this for, for less than a year. And I mean, I've used a lot of juice. You know, I have a very large collection. I've used a lot of this juice in the first year that I've had it. Uh, Dior Homme O has a you know a nice coriander and um, and 
iris with a again like a woody base it's a it's a it's a it's a wonderful fragrance um dior homme oh i know some people say generic what have you whatever it's a great fragrance dior homme oh from the house of christian dior again um and last from the line and my most recent purchase uh from this line is this beauty here and it, it says it all right there in gold this is dior homme parfum my wife really loves this fragrance. Um, strong iris and leather. She said this one smells more like a leather makeup bag. <laughs> Very strong iris. She said it really you know, gets that leather, but with the makeup vibe. My wife really, uh, really appreciates this one. We'll, we'll say that. Dior um, Parfum Edition from the, again, the House of Christian Dior. Okay, so that's my Dior Homme O, or my Dior Homme, sorry, line collection. The next one would be the five fragrances that I have from the Fahrenheit collection. The first of which is Fahrenheit. Now, this is a reformulated version of, of Fahrenheit. Growing up, growing up, uh, when I was in high school back in the 90s, I used to wear this fragrance. It was actually the first fragrance that I actually bought on my own. Uh which they're different. Um, I have had samples of, of vintage Dior Ohm, or I'm sorry, Dior Fahrenheit. Um, but vintage versions of this are very expensive at this point, And I don't, I don't need it that much. This, this fills what I need it to do. Um, petrol, you got that nice petrol note, but in the original way stronger of a uh, gasoline pet petrol note, but it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's a violet fragrance, very masculine, very manly, great, great fragrance, Fahrenheit by Dior, classic, good stuff. Um, next, we're going to go to, I'm going to put it slightly in the front, um, we're going to go to the summer fragrance from this line, which would be Aqua Fahrenheit. Aqua Fahrenheit, I find very similar to normal Fahrenheit, but it has this wonderful citrus note on it. You still get that hint of petrol. It's a really good fragrance. Um, I know Christo really enjoys this one in the, uh, in the summers as well, but uh, this is Aqua Fahrenheit from Christian Dior. Very similar to, again, the original Fahrenheit, but with a citrus note that's just done beautifully. And that's, again, Aqua Fahrenheit. Uh, next we have, um, we're going to go with the, the bottle that looks the most different out of the entire line. This would be uh, Fahrenheit's, Fahrenheit 32. This is a very cooling orange blossom, vanilla. It's the most different. Of all of the Fahrenheit's, to be honest, I think this probably could have been um, could have been sold as a completely new fragrance and not even as a as a Fahrenheit flanker because it has the least in common with all of the others. Beautiful fragrance, mind you. Uh, Neroli vanilla, really good, but I mean you're not really going to get like the uh, you know your your violet leaf or your your gasoline type notes. But it's it's really good. Very cooling fragrance. Fahrenheit 32. Also, I just wanted to point out, again, these caps. If, you, if you've never had one of these caps, um, when you look at them, when they're on, it looks like this top piece comes off. But it doesn't. It's just like one piece. It's a, it's a neat design. Oh, hell, I put that on upside down. Uh, <laughs> Fahrenheit 32. Um... Next from the line, we are going to go with a discontinued fragrance, <sighs> Fahrenheit Absolute. This is beautiful juice. Um, Fahrenheit with licorice, and you get an oud note in this. Now, some people get like a B.O., a uh, cumin -y note out of this. I, I guess I can kind of see what you're talking about, but I, I don't really get that much of a cumin-type note 
out of these out of this fragrance. Uh, really sad that they discontinued it. I love this fragrance. It makes sense that the bottle is so much darker than the original Fahrenheit, and definitely, you know, darker because it's it's the darker brother of Fahrenheit, and that's Fahrenheit Absolute. And the final fragrance that I have from this line is the perfume version of Fahrenheit, and that would be right here. Uh, this is Fahrenheit Le Parfum. I love this juice. I've reviewed the juice. I'll, I'll put the review in the in the box right here. Ta-da! Um, this is great. This is great stuff. It's... Um, very similar to obviously Fahrenheit, but but different in the sense that um, you don't get a strong petrol note in this. This is very uh, crowd pleasing would be a, a good way to put it. You also get like an orangey marmalade. You get like a rum vibe. <sighs> this is good stuff, guys. If you can get a hold of Fahrenheit uh, perfume, La Parfum, whatever you want to call it, get this. This is good stuff. This replaced. I believe, anyway, Fahrenheit Absolute, and uh, I, while I'm not, I'm I'm upset that Fahrenheit Absolute's been replaced. I'm glad they brought this out. This is really good stuff. Definitely a big fan of the uh, of this of this bad boy here. So again, uh, I'm just gonna hold this in my hand since it gets kind of weird off to the side. But uh, this is my Dior collection 14 fragrances uh, I think it's a pretty nice collection uh, you can let me know what you think down in the comments sorry that it took so long to get to this to this but again I've had a lot of stuff going on guys Christmas is coming as you can see all my wife's decorations have gone the Christmas route and we even have the real Christmas tree up in that spot now uh, instead of the little season round uh, Christmas tree and uh, thanks a lot for uh, for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, I, I hope to have some more out before Christmas. If I don't, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate. Have a good one. Thanks again. This is uh, Travis one more time signing off. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.